Hello. Today we're going to be adding gravity to our platformer so that it turns from this to this. If we press W, we can jump and it, it goes onto the floor now. So the first thing we want to do is add two variables. One is going to be called Y velocity and make sure it's for this sprite only. The second one is going to be called air time and make sure this is for this sprite only because we don't want it for any other sprites. So I'm going to hide both of these variables and I'm going to make a new block and call this position and press OK. And what I'm going to do is drag this if D key pressed up. So this go to X, Y should go to the bottom. And now I can drag this block into the position. So now I can drag the position block from here and put it under update in the play game. The second thing we want to do is click on variables, drag out, set, scroll X to zero, and I'm gonna drag out X, so it's set scroll X to X, and then I'm gonna put it under update. And now we want to detect if we're pressing the W key, so we can jump. So if W key pressed, and then go to control, if operators, less than 50 and if air time is less than 4 then we want to set y velocity to 15 and then under all of this change y velocity by minus 2 so that should move the player down and then let's make another block i'm going to call this uh capital y and i'm going to press add an input and call this y velocity and press OK. Inside of this block, click on the variables tab, drag out, change air time by one, change y by y velocity, and position. Then repeat until not touching ground, change y by one, and then position again, set air time to zero, set air time to zero, and set y velocity to zero. I'm going to right click on this, press edit, and turn on run without screen refresh. That will just make the this block right here run really fast. Then under change y velocity by minus two, drag out y. And then inside of this empty space, put in Y velocity. Now, when we press the green flag, we can move around. And if we press W, we can jump. Thanks for watching this tutorial. And I'll see you in the next one where we'll be adding wall detection.